What is up people, how's it going? This is Bharat and welcome back to yet another video on the OpenCV Kiwi MD series. So for this one, I'm going to be introducing you guys to a new package called a CV Zone and you're going to be using the class called a Selfie seg Segmentation and doing something with the background. We're going to be trying to mimic the Zoom background where you can just click a button and your background immediately changes. That's what we're going to be finding out in this video. So let's get this video started straight away. Before we begin, a quick note from our sponsor, Unacademy. Are you a student or a working professional who's looking for a great career in software development? Check out anacademy.com slash go slash career as a software developer and you'll be taken to this link. All you need to do is just check out all the upcoming live classes that are being taken by top educators in the industry. They will walk you through their own industry experience and interact with a lot of guests like HR and industry leaders of top companies where they will answer all of the questions that are raised by you. In live episodes, you get an opportunity to ask tech HRs about top 20 interview questions and industry leaders directly about their recruitment process in startups and MNC, what's the eligibility and how to apply and how they build such great products. Not only this, you can participate in mock interviews and learn courses on programming languages, cloud computing, blockchain and crypto, tech aspects of digital marketing and data analytics. In this show, on a weekly basis, Punit will host an interesting story-like show that takes the listeners on an entire design process journey from user to building a solution. He'll conduct a practical activities as well as take learners through the process of building great design applications like Unacademy, Google, Zomato in all a storytelling format. So who is this specifically for? If you guys are very interested to learn into designing and UI and UX, you should definitely check this series out. You do not need to shell out a lot of money to get the subscription. You will need to spend 999 per year or 83 rupees per month. Or if you choose to use my promo code, which is CoderMonk, you will get 10% off the subscription and just spend only 75 bucks per month. All the links that are discussed here are in the description below. Check them out and let me know what you guys think in the comment section below as well. All right, so we have been so far seeing multiple things with respect to the OpenCV QVMD where we uh, created a base class and uh, rendered a CV2 video capture directly onto the application and if you guys have missed it i would highly recommend you guys to go check that out it's the first video of this uh, youtube playlist so it's in the description check it out so what i'm going to be doing is to use the same code and this is the main application i'll show you guys how the application looks like so just run this application here um hopefully this is fine yeah i'll run this application and uh, all right, here you go. The application is loading here and you can see that uh, it's pretty much picking my image from the video capture, which is my laptop camera. Don't, don't worry about the background. I don't know that it's not something that you guys want to see. Anyway, so this is the application and this is how the application is going to look like. And we did multiple things so far. We clicked here and a lot of things happened. And um, you, you guys should definitely watch all those, those videos out. But for this one particularly, I'm going to be using the same video stream. And since you saw the background, it wasn't really that pleasing. I want to like mute that background and put out a picture of my choice i'm just going to be using a simple image from the google i just did a google search and this is my image so you guys are supposed to be uh, downloading an image and you can see that i have put it in a simple background as well so this is going to be an image uh, this is going to be what i'm going to be trying to put it in my background and we will see how to do that with the cv zone package Right, so let's close everything out. I would highly recommend you guys to also download an image at this point of time. Uh, one important requirement is that you guys have to do it in a 644.80 because uh, I would have definitely discussed about this in one of my previous videos where I explained why we are doing everything in a 644.80 because my processor isn't that faster. So I just don't want to have a higher um, a higher image and I don't want to uh, render those higher images because it will take much more processing speed to do that. So let's close this up and first thing you need to do is to have a bunch of things installed. So I already have to install all of that. So first thing you need to install is to have the pip cv zone installed. So just say pip install cv zone. Hopefully this is clear. I mean it's is it yeah I don't know. Anyway so this is the command here just say pip install cv zone and just install it will say that it's already uh, the requirements is already satisfied because I already installed it into my uh, environment. The next thing I'm going to install is to install the media pipe. Right uh, cv zone requires two things one it requires is open cv and the media pipe to handle all of our uh, open cv related uh, and computer vision related applications and and functions much more easily we don't have to worry about anything of the anything where you need to manually take things and render it and process it all of these things are already pre-built and it's going to be available as part of our cv zone which stands for the computer vision zone so this is the package that we're going to be using for this video so let's get this thing moving 
All right, so what do we need? First thing we need is to have the image loaded, right? I have it in a uh, in a package called as background images. I'm just going to load it into my uh, my variable. So I'm just going to say image background, mg background. And I'm just going to use the cv2.read method and I'm just going to say I am read and load this up, uh, load this image. It's going to be in my, um, basically in this location. So it's going to be background, uh, it's going to be background images. So yeah, background images slash it's img one jpg. So I've loaded this image now and uh, everything I need to do from here on is to just um, make sure to superimpose that. So how are we going to do that? All right, once you have the install installation is completed by now, you just need to just say from CV zone dot selfie segmentation because that's what we're going to be using. So just going to be selfie segmentation module, import the selfie segmentation class. And the selfie segmentation class is basically to just take our image out and pretty much just do whatever we want to do on it. You're going to be doing a segmentation on it. If you want to do it open CV way, that's also another video on that. You can check it out. But this one is going to be just to use the already defined class, which is just doing everything for us, like uh, making sure to get the contour and making sure to separate our foreground and background and also putting the image that we wanted we want it on the background so everything is going to be uh, algorithms already pre-written we just need to use it and that's what this video is about so just go down and we have the base uh, structure already ready and like i said this is already covered in the first video and uh, it's a completely detailed video so I recommend you to check it out if you're starting for the first time the next thing you need to do is to create a class variable for the segmenter, right? So just say self dot segmenter. I'll just call it a segmenter. I'll just create the selfie segmentation. Uh, just create an object of selfie segmentation, and we should be uh, good to go. So just uh, say, just create the object selfie segmentation. All right. So we have the image background and the image uh, segmenter uh, objects ready. We are now going to be loading this frame from this frame because this is the load video that gets called every 30 seconds, right? I mean, every uh, 30 frames per second. So every frame that gets passed is going to get uh, loaded. This method is going to get loaded. So in this frame method, just need to say, uh, load your image. So image out, I call it as image out. And this is going to be using the segmenter, which is the self dot segmenter. And we are going to be using the uh, remove background method. This remove background method is going to do things for us in just one simple method. Our entire thing is completed. So pass the frame. This is going to be the self dot image frame or the frame itself. Uh, we already have the variable. So frame followed by that the image that you want to put in the background. So it's going to be the self dot image background, right? Followed by that, the threshold that you want to want it to uh, clear up. I'm going to be playing around with some numbers to just start with, and I highly recommend you guys to do that as well. So just play around with this number. It's going to be threshold is going to be 0 0.6. All right, so we have the image out. We have uh, made it sure that this is going to be the image that we want to see. Uh, instead of just doing a cv2 dot im show. Um, this is if you do a cv2 im show it'll just open it up into a different application by itself. I don't want to do that. I want to put it back into my my QVMD application, right? And these are the four lines of code that does, does it for us. We create the buffer and from the buffer, we create the texture and this texture is going to be updating the image that we have already uh, created. So there's going to be everything again is from the first video. I'm just using the base template and just showing you guys how things should be done. So let's move on and this, this image, the image out, instead of showing the frame, I'm just going to be showing the image out now. And I'll just say image out and image out. All right, so we have done everything in just uh, probably one line of code, to be honest. And we have the image background getting uploaded and just doing the work for us. So let's run this application, just say run, and it'll just take some time, and it should be up right now. All right, so I'm going to be moving my mic away for a bit and showing you guys how this works. So let me move it and show you guys how this thing is working.
anyway hope you guys did see it and you can see that still there's a lot of yeah, it's doing all the work uh, in a real time basis and uh, and it's also important to note that it's not perfect but still it's something that you can get started with and the threshold you can play around the threshold as much as you want if i increase the threshold and it will still be working pretty fine so you just need to play around the threshold and if it works pretty fine that's what you got to stick with and all this application that we have done so far the installation and all the python model that you're using so far is all available for building it into the final apk as well so there's all the binaries available in the uh, kvmd pipeline so you don't have to worry about anything just include it into your uh, config file and there you go your application is done you you have it in your mobile application in real time so that's pretty much what i wanted to show now if you can still play around with it you can add we already have the click here button right you can say you can load multiple images inside it you can just load and just on every button click you can show multiple different backgrounds and it'll just take a simple looping logic so that's pretty much what i wanted to show you guys in this video hope you did like it and we're going to be seeing a lot more videos in the future i'm also reading all of your comments i do know that you guys want me to uh, build more stuff around kiwi and uh, that's what i'm going to be coming up with i'm going to be coming out with a one hour session on kiwi and how you can get started with kiwi so if you guys are interested just stay subscribed and you will see the video in probably in the week or two weeks time drop a like and subscribe to this channel i'll see you guys in the next video until then it's bharat peace out have a super awesome day